Well, good morning from Magical Sunday School. I hope everybody is, is having a good and safe weekend. Uh, I thought I'd start off by showing you this because we're going to talk a little bit, just a tiny bit about this today. and We're going to talk a whole lot more about it. This is the lamin. Uh, this was made for us uh, for a Monday Night Magic class. This is a gold, a piece of gold uh, metal there. And uh, the figures for the lamin were artfully uh, placed in transparency on that and then uh, covered with a nice clear uh, sealant of some kind. That's my lamin. And uh, also I have a very thin piece of, uh, of gold using the same pattern that I posted uh, for a paper ring. There's uh, someone who's kind enough to send me that. And that's gold also. But it doesn't have to be gold. If you can't make a magic ring out of... Uh, paper, you can't make it out of gold. Chapter 1 of Enochian Vision Magic. Let me clear the decks here. In the middle of the night, Epigram is a Prayer by John D. Teach me, O Creator of all things, to have correct knowledge and understanding, for your wisdom is all that I desire. Speak your word in my ear, O Creator of all things, and set your wisdom in my heart. It's 3.43 a.m. I've been up for about a half hour bathing, dressing, and preparing myself to operate. Constance is asleep in the bedroom, and I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. In just a few minutes, I will turn off the computer here in my office, take up my almond wand, and go into the darkened living room. There I will quietly perform a lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. Light two tapered candles and sit down before the holy table. Once comfortably seated, I'll close my eyes and pray that same prayer. Teach me, O creator of all things, to have correct knowledge and understanding, for your wisdom is all that I desire. Speak your word in my ear, O creator of all things, and set your wisdom in my heart. Amen. I will then open my eyes and take the golden ring and quietly recite the prayer. Behold the ring. This it is, this is it, wherewith all miracles and divine works and wonders were wrought by Solomon. This is it, which the archangel Michael hath revealed to me. This is it, which philosophy dreameth of. This is it, which the angels scarce know. This is it, and blessed be his name forever. Yea, his name be blessed forever. Without this I shall do nothing. Blessed be his name that encompasses all things. Wonders are in him, and his name is wonderful. Pele. His name works wonders from generations to generation. Amen. 
I will then put on the ring and then take up the golden lamin that is attached to a black ribbon. Before putting it around my neck, I will again pray. Behold the lamin. As the holy table conciliates heaven and earth, let this lamin, which I place over my heart, conciliate me to the holy table. I will then take up my almond wand and reach across the holy table and tap the upper right hand corner. That would be right there. And I'm going to chant these letters in a counterclockwise position. I'll then take up my almond wand, reach across the holy table, tap the upper right hand corner and begin to chant. As I do so, I will move the tip of the wand from right to left across the far edge of the table and chant. Pam med fam med drux fam fam ur ged graf drux med graf graf med med ur med gal ged ged drux. Then moving the tip of the wand down the left edge of the table, I'll continue to chant. Pa druk sun tal fam dan nur graf dan nur giz gan med nun get men graf van nur dan dan nun. Then moving from left to right along the bottom edge. Pa druk sur ur dan nur druk sun med graf graf med med graf sef gen gen ur maus maus fam mun. Then up the right hand edge to finish where I started. Pa gon med un graf fam maus tal lur pam pa grux un un van un med nun gan drux drux ur. I will repeat this entire procedure six more times. Each time increasing the intensity of my focus on the words and movements. When I've completed the seventh round of chanting, I'll hold the wand over the center of the table and chant seven rounds of the following. That's this here. Med gan giz dan nur van ur dan nur med med graf Med dan nur men gan nur dan men giz van nur graf. I will then trace a circle over the center of the table and say seven rest in seven and the seven live by seven. The seven govern the seven and by seven all government is. Galaf Gethog Thouth Horlon Inan Auth Gelethog Zafkeel Zedekeel Kumael Raphael Hanael Mikael Gabriel El Me Esse Iana Ekele Azdebon Stimkul I I Irom Damar Hioa begia stimkol ab af izad ekei madimi esemeli e an ave liba rokle hagoneli lemes 
Sabathiel, Zadekiel, Madimiel, Semeliel, Nogahel, Korabiel, Levaneel. Finally, I'll place the tip of my wand upon the center of my forehead and whisper, Lua Lang Sach Urch Yad Mazir Yad Babsna Yad Sogru Yad Ser Os. The chanting will take about 18 minutes. By then, I will have chanted myself into an altered state of consciousness. In fact, I'll be high as a kite, struggling to avoid drifting into directionless rapture. I will no longer be the overweight knot of worries and vices that haunt the date light hours of bills and phone calls and deadlines vampires of time. I will be a magician, a key player in the business of creation, a spiritual being, occupying my own indispensable rung on a hierarchical ladder of spiritual beings, gods, archangels, angels, spirits, and demons, spiritual entities who personify in metaphoric technicolor every natural force, every monad of energy, every atom of matter, every concept and principle, potentiality and tendency in the visible and invisible cosmos. My living room will disappear and in its place will tower the temple of the universe holy ground, demarcated by a consecrated carpet of red silk upon which rests the holy table, the center of the universe, the holy of holies, where heaven touches earth. The table is completely veiled by a red silk cloth with its gold tassels that hang from each corner. The cloth conceals an elaborately painted and engraved tabletop, the perimeter of which is carved with the 84 squares containing the letters from a sacred angelic alphabet, letters whose names I chanted in the angelic tongue during my seven rounds of chanting. A large carved hexagram spans the entire inner surface of the tabletop. And in the center of the hexagram broods a large rectangle made up of 12 squares, each containing an oversized angelic letter. The same letters whose names I chanted during the four rounds of chanting artfully carved into the surface of the table. Also seven talismans, ensigns of creation are arrayed around the central rectangle. They're made of purified tin and are particularly, excuse me, peculiarly lettered in the angelic script. The centerpiece of the holy table is the Sigillum de Ameth, a wax disc approximately nine inches in diameter and one and one half inches thick, bearing the carved image of a complex diagram consisting of an interlocked heptagram, two heptagons, a pentagram, and an array of numbers and letters which, when decoded, spell the names of seven sets of seven divine beings, seven who rest in seven seven who live by seven, seven who govern the seven, and seven by whom all government is. Four smaller waxed versions of the siglum, wrapped in red silk bags, 
rest under the legs of the holy table, insulating it from the distracting geo-currents. The chanting completed, I will unveil a circular black mirror made of highly polished obsidian. I have placed it in a stand directly upon the covered Sigillum DMF and I will carefully angle it so I see my dimly lit face reflected in its pool of deep blackness. After only a few moments, the reflection of my face will disappear, and I will see with magic eyes and hear with magic ears. Now the vision magic begins. In the middle of the night, I will call upon the angels. I will call upon the angels and they will answer. And that's where we'll stop today. Tomorrow we'll pick up with Chapter 2, The Magic of Dr. John D. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your weekend and that uh, as many of you as possible can join me again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Until then, continue to be good to yourself and be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love under will.